doing today? So in this video, we are going to make the tastiest chocolate Oreo treat. It is perfect for Valentine that is right around the corner. So I don't make a lot of desserts, and it's not because I can't. It's because I will eat them all. I love dessert. My son has a Valentine party on Friday, so this is perfect. I can make this for his classroom, but I do not have to eat it all. So let's get started on making this wonderfully chocolate Oreo treat. I know she won't be good for me. But I, I, I don't care. Cause I know it's so rare. So the first thing you'll need is brownies. You'll need a package of brownie mix, and you'll need to make it according to the package. Bam! Good job! Now set your brownie mix aside, and now it's time to start lining your cupcake tin. All right, let's start pouring the ingredients you in here. want brownie mix, Oreos, and peanut butter. Now these Oreos are perfect because they have a red in the middle. So these are perfect colors for Valentine's. So let's start assembling them. So you want to start doing a pattern. First you start out with an Oreo. You take some peanut butter and you spread it on it. And then you take another Oreo and you put it on top of that. And then you'll spread the top with some peanut butter too. And then you'll put it right into your cupcake tin. And you want to do that all the way until you are done with all your Oreos. Now this can get messy, but that's okay. At least it tastes good and it's worth it. Just keep spreading it. And you can add as much or as little peanut butter as you want. But that is kind of one of the best parts. And this is what it looks like. Using one package of Oreos, it gives me 15 individual cups. Okay, perfect. So now it is time to take your brownie mix and cover, completely submerge your Oreo and your peanut butter. Make sure you get the brownies all around the cookies so it can be covered in brownie mix. And this is pretty amazing tasting. So just continue to do that. So I'm putting the last of the brownie mix in here. And then we are ready to put it in the oven. So if you want the brownie mix to evenly go down the sides of the Oreos, make sure you do this. This kind of just helps the brownie mix to kind of flow down the sides. And this is what it should look like right before you put it in the oven. Okay, you want to put your brownie mix in the oven at 350. And after 30 minutes, you want to check it. Okay, it's been 30 minutes, so let's check it. They look done but we have to check it with a toothpick so you just take a toothpick stick it in and see there's barely any that comes off of it so it is ready guys good job we have finished making this yummy dessert so now we should try it let's try it out mmm this is really good if you can see the inside it is so tasty and really easy to make your family will love it and you need to drink it with a side of coffee Oh yeah, or milk, I guess. Um, so if you have any questions, just comment below. If you like my channel, 
give it a thumbs up, support it by subscribing, 